friends and welcome back to our channel. Now very recently we were fortunate enough to dive with a number of different dive computers. We had the Sunto D5, the Shearwater Terek, the Garmin Descent Mark 1 and the Ratio iDive Color Easy. And we pulled all four of those uh, dive computers into one review, kind of like a one big comparison review where we sort of tried to feature some of the main aspects of the dive computers in a comparison video. Posted that a couple of weeks back. What I want to do today is to spend a few moments diving into this, the Shearwater Terek. In most circles, this is probably regarded as one of the best dive computers in the world. So I want to take a few moments to sort of look at some of the features and tell you guys what all the fuss is about. As a wearable watch stroke dive computer, there's a whole lot of technology to pack into a unit that weighs only 120 grams and measures 55 millimeters across and only 17 millimeters thick. The built-in rechargeable lithium battery will cover you for 30 plus hours of diving on one single full charge and will comfortably sit in standby mode for three months. The unit also has a depth rating of 200 meters. The sapphire crystal display is bright and crisp and sharp and steps ahead of the mineral crystal displays you find on most other dive computers. The display also boasts active matrix organic light emitting diodes or better known as AMO LED. The benefit of this means it provides a higher refresh rate than passive matrix and has a response time of less than a millisecond. Another advantage is the low power used to power AMO LED devices. The four buttons are large and responsive and due to most of the development work for the turret being completed in cold water of Canada, the buttons are also easy to use even when wearing thick gloves. The silicon strap is designed to grip both wet and dry suits and for extra length the strap extender is included in the box. The Turek is also compatible with most 22mm off the shelf straps providing the user with unlimited customization. The Shearwater Turek is charged via the included wireless charge cradle and once in the cradle the screen will turn 90 degrees making a great bedside clock. Because of the wireless charge capabilities, the Terek is also compatible with a number of different QI charge pads for ultimate flexibility. Charge time is around one and a half hours when quick charge is enabled and around about three to four hours when it isn't. One of my absolute favourite features about the Shearwater Terek is the customisation for the watch faces. There are three watch faces available on the Shearwater Terek. It's digital, there's analog and there's orbital. The function button will change the style of the face, while the info button on the bottom right will change the amount of information displayed. There are 15 different watch face colours that can be selected, allowing for over a hundred different possible watch face configurations. This can easily be found by going into the settings to display to colours and to customization, and then watch colour. The Shearwater Terek is an advanced technical dive computer. You can set it to dive open circuit recreational, open circuit technical, including Trimix, closed circuit and bailout, and it also has a gauge and a free dive mode. The decompression model used by the Terek is the Borman ZHL 16C and allows you to set the gradient factors to a number of different preset options or allow you to fully customise settings. The four icons next to the buttons make for very easy operation and make the menu functions very, very intuitive. The compass has a full tilt compensated mechanism that allows you to get a true reading no matter what angle the Terek is viewed at. There is also a really cool float feature that can be turned on and off from the main dive screen. You can change the view of the screen between what they call a big and a small layout. I've set the open circuit and the open technical up different to show you the differences in the value shown. The top right button is your function button and can be customised to whatever value you wish to see at the push of a button. Here I have the compass set up, but the values that you can select will differ depending on which mode you're in. Once you have the Shearwater Terek hooked up to a transmitter, it's paired for life, you don't need to repair it. And you can view the tank pressure, your sac rate and your gas time remaining all on the same viewable screen. 
The Terec will allow you to connect up to two transmitters and allow you to switch between five gases with the ease of a push of a button. The logbook will store around about 500 hours of dive logs at the default 10 second log rate. This can also be amended in the settings. The logbook function is easy to navigate and once a dive log is selected you scroll across to see the data. All of the information that you need and the dive chart are very very easy to understand. Another really cool feature in the log options is that you can set the next log number to match your lifetime dive count which is a great feature if you pick up a Shearwater Terry as a new dive computer after you've done many many other dives with uh, another model. You can also delete and restore deleted logs. Now before I got my hands on the Shearwater Terek, I had this preconceived notion in the back of my mind that this was going to be a really complicated and difficult bit of kit to use. Why I thought that, I'm not sure. It might have been because, because I knew it was a quite a, a, an advanced technical dive computer, I kind of had this preconceived idea that the menus and information was going to be really heavy going, when in actual fact it couldn't be more opposite. The menu is easy to navigate, it's very intuitive. I've found that the little icons next to the four buttons that help you navigate through are just so helpful. Um, in actual fact, I found the menus quite compressed. It didn't feel like I had to go through lots of data, lots of button pushing, lots of menus to find what I wanted. And to be honest with you, I think anyone with an ounce of common sense could pick this up having never used it before and be quite au fait with it within 10, 15 minutes. It's that simple. I love how customizable everything is, even down to changing between uh, your reading your gas, uh, if you've got a transmitter, reading your gas in either bar or PSI. We were on the boat in Antigua, I obviously had the computer set up as bar, but everything that they wanted to refer to uh, in terms of air in the tank was all PSI. And literally it took me five seconds to change it. It was easy, to, uh, I found it really easily. And uh, yeah, I'm just really impressed with how, how easy and intuitive everything is on it. If I was going to be really, really picky about one thing, I would say that the audible alarms and the vibration when using as a dive computer aren't as good as the Cinto D5. I've used both as dive computers and I actually found the Cinto vibration uh, much more of, a, a, of an alert on your arm when you're wearing it as a dive computer. One thing that I really love is the little torch function. It's a little bit of a gimmick, but when you put it into the torch mode, it basically makes all of the pixels on the screen white and it allows you to kind of illuminate things. Now you do need things to be quite dark, either in a dark room or um, say in a cave on a dive, but uh, yeah, it throws out quite a bit of light when you've got it in torch mode. So all in all, I absolutely love the Shearwater Terek, even down to the orbital watch face, which I think is by far my favorite. I love the way the little second hand goes around the edge of the screen like a satellite, while you've got the clock acts like a little planet in the middle. Absolutely love that. Now, if you don't mind forking out a thousand pound of your money for a brand new unit, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. And in my honest opinion, it's worth every single penny. It looks smart. It's comfortable to wear during a dive and as an everyday watch, even though it's on the slightly thicker side, but it's a big thumbs up from me and it's definitely going on my Christmas list. That's me done for today, guys. I'm going to leave you in peace now. As always, love it if you give us a little thumbs up, add any comments or questions down below. And as always, click on that subscribe button, click that little bell icon to be notified for any future videos, and I will look forward to seeing you on the next review very, very soon. Cheers. Take care.